What's going on everybody? This is Dean with Blue Ridge Overland Gear and we are gonna be looking at all of our different options for first aid kits. So before I get started, I need to answer a very common frequently asked question and that is, why don't we sell our first aid kits with something in them? And the reason being is we wanna make sure that the kit is tailored to you, your environment, and the trip that you're going on. Also, we wanna make sure that that kit is tailored to your skill level. So the best piece of advice I have for you is to get training, get that knowledge, get that experience, work with your trainer when you're taking your class to figure out what the best ingredients are for your first aid kit. And then as your experience and your skill level develops, you can flesh out your kits. They're also gonna be able to tell you how you can supplement an off the shelf first aid kit uh, with some extras. So if you're prone to one type of injury or another, you're going into a certain area, they can tell you kind of how to round that kit out. But what we are gonna do in this video is cover all the different options that we have and why we have those different options. So at the very core foundation of our system of first aid kits is the IFAC. Now IFAC is an acronym, I-F-A-K, Individual First Aid Kit. And this right here is our small IFAC. And this is kind of cool for a couple different reasons. First, it's Velcro. Now with this meaning, uh, this is our headrest uh, Velcro kit. So you can actually attach the IFAC to that, uh, not around a squirrel butt, um, but you can attach that around the headrest of your vehicle and it can be right there. You know, if it's on your passenger side, you know, headrest, you can just reach over and grab it when you need to. Um, it can also attach to other things that have Velcro on them. So being an IFAC, an individual first aid kit, this is our smallest bag. <laughs> Inside, we have a couple different organizational options. So we've got some uh, molly loops to stick things in. Uh, we also have some pouches, there's some Velcro. And this middle panel, you guessed it, it's removable. It's also a pocket in and of itself. Um, it also does come in black. Uh, so sometimes people will set these up two different ways or sometimes they'll set one up um, as a trauma kit versus a first aid kit, or maybe they'll just set this up as a boo-boo kit. Um, so there's a couple options there. Next up from our small IFAC kit is our medium IFAC kit. And again, this is still considered an individual first aid kit. Um, so it's kind of approximately eight inches by 12 inches. On the inside, it utilizes four of our 12 by four Velcro pouches. And since these are Velcro pouches, they are removable. Also with the clear vinyl on here, you can label these as to what the uh, ingredients are in each uh, pouch. Um, and you can also, if you desire, switch these out with different colors. Uh, again, we have a black, gray, coyote, uh, blue. Uh, so you can sometimes custom tailor them if you desire. The third and final first aid bag that we have is our large first aid kit. Do a little switcheroo here. Now the large first aid kit is 12 by 12, the exact same size as our tool bag. So if you're like, wow, that looks really familiar. Yes, this is in fact just a red version of our tool bag. Inside, aside from the squirrels, are four 12 by six Velcro pouches. Now, like the ones in the medium kit, these are removable. It does have the clear vinyl on so you can see the contents, but you can also put labels on here to kind of label what is in each pouch. Also, there's nothing to stop you from reconfiguring these pouches either into different colors or different sizes. Uh, so again, with our systems in general, they're very modular. You can organize them in a variety of different ways. Now, with all of our bags, they do have Velcro on them. So you can actually label them. We have a trauma kit label, as well as a first aid label. Uh, you can also get custom labels made. We've had people get custom ones made that just say boo-boo kit or ouch pouch or something like that. While we're talking about bags is again, the modularity and customizability of our systems in general, meaning with these bags, you can even just take something like a regular 12 by four Velcro pouch and it can attach to the outside of either the large bag or the medium bag. Now, again, I said earlier that we have a system here and it kind of helps mirror the different types of trips you go on. If you've watched any of our past videos, you know we like to break things down into a level one, a level two, and a level three trip based on whether you're on the grid, on the fringe of the grid, or off the grid. And that's why we offer a variety of different sizes in the first aid kits. If you're somebody who just goes on level one trips and say you're only gonna be like at a state campground or in a state forest where you're still kind of on the grid, 
you're gonna have access to 911. So basically all you really have to worry about is some basic first aid, stabilization, and you wait for emergency services to show up. If you're on the fringe of the grid on something like a level two trip, you might need a little bit more of an exhaustive first aid kit, and that's where something like our medium first aid kit, the large first aid kit, or a combination of something like the small IFAC and the medium kit might really help you out. Now, if you're on a level three trip and you're on a very extended duration trip into remote territory and you have the skill set necessary, you may find yourself wanting to have an IFAC, a, a large first aid kit for your trauma stuff, as well as a medium first aid kit for maybe some of your personal stuff. For instance, I'm a wilderness first responder. I travel alone. I travel in the very remote territory. I have the large first aid kit with my wilderness first responder kit in it. I also have an IFAC set up as a boo-boo kit, and I have a second IFAC set up as a trauma kit. So basically you can kind of custom configure things based on what you need. The other variable to consider in choosing a first aid kit or first aid kit system is the size of your group. Again, if you're somebody that travels solo and you're on the grid, you probably don't need a big first aid kit. So something like a small or medium IFAC might get the job done. But if you're traveling with a family and you have a couple kids, you may wanna say, oh my God, I want the large first aid kit just to carry all of those extra little things. You may maybe have prescription meds you need to carry. Uh, the other thing to consider is if you have a furry little friend. Um, our um, friends have uh, set these up also as doggy first aid kits. Um, so don't leave your furry family friends out of the equation when thinking about your first aid stuff. So to kind of wrap things up, again, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and really, really stress the importance of training. The training that you have will help influence how you put together a kit, your confidence level, and also to how you're gonna customize the various different components of your first aid system to fit your needs. Again, I can sit here and tell you what I carry and why I carry it, but that may not apply to you and you may have needs that I may not even be aware of. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I will really, really stress getting that training and getting that knowledge and experience and then kind of growing accordingly. So even if you don't know where to start, Start with a basic first aid kit and something like an IFAC. Start with basic first aid training. And then as you grow and develop and your trips grow and develop, then you can expand that system. And the nice thing is since we offer different bags of different sizes and they can be used for different means, you can kind of grow and add them to your uh, kit without necessarily having to just replace and get rid of something that you may not need anymore. So hopefully you've enjoyed this systems overview of our first aid bags, and we would like to continue the conversation down below in the comments. So please share what you carry as a first aid kit, IFAC, large kit, medium kit. Um, let us know maybe what some of your experiences have been with emergency services that you have decided to say, hey, maybe I need to carry a particular type of kit or have particular training. Drop those comments down below. We'd really like to hear back from you guys. And again, thank you for watching this video. I've been Dean with Blue Ridge Overland Gear, and we hope to see you out there. So inside the large first aid kit are four of the 12 by six uh, Velcro pouches. Again, a leg with the medium. <laughs> Medic! <Man> down. <laughs> Squirrel down. <laughs> <laughs>